Hey guys, it's me, my hands, and not a lot to show you this week. That little dance was faked because I'm not dancing. I'm just sitting here. I don't even have a beverage. I know. I'm sorry. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, and this is a channel about cross-stitch and lots of other things, and this is not my normal video. I am just not mentally okay enough to put myself together to make a real video, and I have very little to say this week, so let's just move on. If you are a returning visitor, welcome back, and sorry about the crappy video. Like I said, I don't have a lot to go over, so let's just jump in with my one whip. Yeah, that's what I would. It's not entirely true, but you'll see the next thing. Um, this is the only actual, like, regular project I worked on in the past two weeks. And as you can see, I put in some Red House. That's it. That's my gig. Um... I enjoyed it. I continue to love stitching on this 40 count mallow. Every time I go to use mallow, I'm like, eh, it's kind of boring. Eh, it's so plain. Eh, all the things. And then I stitch something on it and I love it. I love it. Never pass up the 40 count mallow. It's just, it's a nice tightly woven fabric. Um, so a little traveling is okay. It's pretty forgiving, and I don't really have an issue seeing the holes. Um, I do use a very, very bright light um, when I'm stitching, but other than that, it's been pretty good for me. The only other thing I really worked on is a bit of a model. It's not a bit of a model, it's actually a model. This is for the next pattern, getting ready to go up into the Etsy shop. I can't tell you how much I am enjoying designing things and stitching them up. Although I will say my least favorite part is the model stitching because this is where I make color changes and things because, y'all, you know, I have a problem. I, I've always suspected that I am slightly colorblind. I have issues with blues and greens and my father is colorblind and has similar issues. So, you know, when I was looking for, you can't see it here, but I was looking for a, I wanted a sagey green for grass, and my first mistake was going by what it looked like on the design screen, which is not accurate at all, and it, it shouldn't, you shouldn't assume that it would be. I should not assume that it should be. You can assume anything you want. Um, so what I picked in the pattern maker, I threw out, and then I replaced it with another color that looked nice and sagey and what I wanted on the skein. But then I have to remind myself that when you start stitching with it, especially one over, am I doing one over? I am doing one over one here. It's going to lighten up and be a little less intense. So the color I picked, which I think is actually light pistachio, is way too light. It's, it's, it's too bright for the rest. So now I have to go to a darker pistachio, but that means I have to pick out all the pistachio that I already put in. I don't want to pick out the pistachio, but this is what you got to do when you're model stitching, which is best because if I had just put this pattern up, assuming the colors were going to be okay, um, that would have gone poorly. We would have had some very, very ugly end results, but this is, um, the next um, pattern getting ready to go live. It is going to be titled Whistle Past All the Graveyards. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Hopefully it should be posted within the next few days. So keep an eye out. Before I move on to haul, I have to um, publicly shame myself. You see that I continue to have a copy of Rackstack. That would be because I have not mailed it out to the winner yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
It's been a hell of a few weeks, and that's the only excuse I have for it. I am no longer going to put it in a place that I won't miss it, and going to actually put it on my keyboard right now so that it gets in the mail to you. I'm sorry. And the last stitchy thing we're going to talk about today is my haul, which I have to take this off of the tripod um, so that you can see it in its glory. Um, yeah, all I can say is um, I'm a little out of control. Hold, please. So all I can say is Liz Matthews made me do it. I bought the spinny rack for my threads because this going on and there was worse going on on the back of the door. It's just, it was not working for me. When I was trying to find colors like the right sage green, couldn't find anything because I was in a closet trying to figure out which green was right. And I was always wrong. So I bought the rack, but then I went to hang all my stuff on here and realized that no, these are way too long. And if I let these dangle down, you know, the cat's gonna get to the bottom ones and that's gonna go poorly. So I have been twizzling. I have been twizzling. Let me tell you how therapeutic it is to twizzle. I sit, I watch TV, I spin little braids, I put them on cards. It's very therapeutic. And look how good DMC looks when you treat it nice. Look at that. So this is going to get better. I have done like some of these came out too long. So I'm going to have to just tuck them back up. But I like this. I like this because I can, you know, survey my colors and not pick one that looks like, I don't know, green Kool-Aid um, when that's not the look I'm going for. <sighs> my next thought about this, once I get it done, is do I want to continue to hang it in color order? Or do I want to put it in the order that it's in on the DMC color card so that color families are together. I don't know. That's more than I can think about right now. Um, but I am definitely enjoying the process. Do you, do you know I found out how much 319 I have in my life? There's just, sorry, way more 319. I should design something specifically with that. Actually, I think I might have. The thing coming next is, um, I'm so super proud of it. I can't wait to stitch it. And I just hope that it comes out as well as it looks in my head. If it doesn't, there's going to be weeping. But we'll burn that bridge while we're on it. That is about it. That is all I have for this week. Um, it's been... It's been a bad few weeks. It's, you know, I can't even, uh, <laughs> it's been bad. And my depression is up. My, my anxiety is up. My body pains are up. My arthritis is bad. Um, I won't even tell you the volume of food that I eat in a day. It is staggering. Um, but I'm here and I'm upright and that's what I got. So I want to thank you all for uh, just watching to the end of this little video. Hopefully in two weeks I will be back with way more interesting things to show and talk about and a new pattern and whatnot. Um, shameless plug, if you haven't gone over to check out my new Etsy store, there will be a link below. I am Shadow House Stitchery over there, and that's about it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes and even your dislikes. And thank you for your comments. I read every single one of them, and I appreciate them. And I appreciate you 
Thank you for being my community. Bye, guys.